Hello everyone, welcome to the Beckett Tracer Activity 22.2.2 from CCMP and Core Course from Cisco. This activity is about configuring a WPA2 Enterprise Wireless LAN on the Wireless LAN, wireless, uh, LAN controller. Okay, in the previous video we I showed you how to configure um, a security and wireless LAN controller for a small business. Uh, area, but now we are going to use, of course, like an, an, an enterprise uh, area. So here we are going to configure interfaces for VLAN, and then, as as you can see here, we can we are going to configure a new VLAN on the wireless control, uh, wireless controller, and then we are going to configure a new scope uh, for on the wireless controller for to support DHCP and the simple network management protocol and of course we also are going to configure the radius server to authenticate the wireless LAN users so everything about the authentication is going to be in the server as you can see here and then we are going to check the connectivity in the background here or the scenario first as you already saw in the previous video that we are already configured the existing wireless LAN it was for a small business, now we are going to work in the enterprise, so I'm not going to waste time on the scenario, but it's worth or it's uh, like um, much better to read the scenario, to have a small imagination about the real um, life. Okay, so what is here now? First, we are going to create a new wireless LAN. So already you know this, we need the IP address of the wireless LAN controller, this one here. And also we need a username and password to access this um, wireless LAN controller. As you can see here, the username is admin and the password is Cisco123. Okay, so let's access first this router or this wireless LAN controller. As you can see here, there is UPS. Then we have login. We put here the admin and here we have Cisco. One, two, three, and then we log in. Okay, so we are here now, and then we are going to go to the controller and their interfaces. And here we have the default interfaces right now here, and we are going to add a new interface here for the VLAN that we are going to create so the name of this interface is going to be VLAN 5 and here interface ID or VLAN ID is also going to be 5 and then we click apply Okay, so here as you can see port number is going to be 1, VLAN identifier is this one and now we are going to put information about the VLAN. Here we have IP address. Here we have a net, a net mask. And here we have the gateway. And here we have the DHCP server primary. Okay, so here we also like uh, use traffic for the wireless LAN that uses this VLAN interface will be on the uh, this network. So as you can see here, 192.168.5.0 network. The default gateway is the address of the interface on the router R1. Okay, a DHCP pool has configured put the router. Okay, so that's fine. The address that we are we that we configure here is DHCP tells the wireless LAN controller to forward all DHCP requests that is received from host on the wireless to the DHCP server on the router. Okay, it's no problem. Then we go to click apply. Then okay, that's all. We finished with the interface uh, for uh, and configuring the interface. Now we are going to configure the wireless LAN controller to authenticate all users uh, on radio servers. So to do this, we are going to go to security. And here we 
can see that in the security while I click new here we need the IP address of the server which is this one and of course we need the username and password for this which is going to be Cisco123 in two situation and two places and then we are going to click apply okay so also we have done with this you can see here we have information now we are going to add the wireless LAN we did this before in the previous video here we are creating new go here we need the profile name which is going to be as you can see here for two employees the SSID is going to be this one And the ID is going to be 5 and we mentioned why in the previous video. Okay, so we have done with this. We have to make enable. This is very important point. Then apply. Okay, and now we need to go to advanced and then we need to select these two from here. Here we also need to change the VLAN interface. And then it's okay, and apply it. this is a very important point. And then we go here and then we make sure that they are enabled okay so till now we are fine with this okay now we are going to create a w or wireless LAN security in the previous video we made this now we are going to make this one here from the we are from the vlan so let's go here to security and here we are going to select this one and then we are going to use this one and then we are going to select this one Here we need to come here and here we need to select the one you, we have selected but the port is already here and then we click apply and then we click ok all right so we have done with this now we are going to configure a DHCP scope and, and uh, SNMP or Simple Network Management Protocol. So here we are to going to configure DHCP scope. Um, so we are going to click controller. And then interfaces. As you can see here, we have three wireless LAN 5, we have management, we have virtual, and then click on the management. We're going to have here information. Okay, so this is one is needed.
and here we have a node D, uh, in part D when we want to wireless LAN control to use it to use its own DHCP server to provide addressing to a device on the wireless management network such a lightweight access point for this reason enter the IP address of the wireless LAN control management interface as the primary DHCP server okay so let's do this All right, so then in the left hand, expand the internal DHCP. And first, we need to click OK and apply. OK, then what we need then uh, on the left hand and the interface DHCP, click DHCP scoop here. Then we need to collect here. Then we are going to add a new one. Then we click here, as you can see, the IP addresses are not set, so I'm going to set them. Here we have a network, so this is the network. So as you can see here in the topology, so the network address is all under here. Okay, and then let's check the net mask, which is this one. And the gateway is this one. Status is enabled and then save configuration and click apply. Okay, now we are going to configure simple network management protocol. So here we need also to click on management. Then here, trap servers. Or receivers here we need a new one here we need a community name which is going to be this one and then we need an IP address this one here, and then click apply. Okay, so we have done with this as well. So now we are going to configure a host to for the enterprise. So let's keep this aside and then come back here. Now what? Let's check results. Okay, everything is fine till now. So let's check now here and now we have to go there and then the profile and then create a new and then let's check this one here. As you can see here there is the signal which we wanted. 
So what we can do more, we have now highlight the wireless network name on the wireless LAN that we created earlier and click advanced setup. And then verify, verify the SSID for the wireless LAN is present and then click next. Yes, and then we go to click next. Uh, what we have verified the DHCP network setting is selected and then click next as you can see here and then in the security drop down select this one here which was WPA2 Enterprise WPA2 Enterprise OK and click next Here enter login username user1 and the password user1 password. Okay and click next. Okay, let's back here. I'm just copying the this to be more right and click next okay verify the profile setting and click save so what we have here profile settings and then we go into click save you should see so select the okay select the wireless network profile and click connect okay Okay, so what we have here else, confirm that the wireless has connected to the wireless. Okay, let's check this. As you can see, there is a connection in the wireless. And here, the address will, okay, confirm that the wireless host has connected to the wireless line. Wireless host should receive an IP address from the DHCP server that is configured for the host on R1. The address will be 192.168. 5.0 network, okay, you may need to click the forward to button to accelerate, okay, let's check now the IP address, as you can see here, 192, 168.5.2, which is in the range, this one, everything is fine, now we are going to test connectivity, close the PC wireless application, and then open the command, and confirm that the wireless laptop has obtained IP address from the wireless LAN, okay, and then being the default gateway uh, SW1 and radius server, SX is indicate that connectivity as topology. Okay, let's now do the ping. Okay, it's okay. So we are going to um, ping. Uh, Okay, watch the server is already okay there. I'm going to ping the admin on PC. And I'm also going to so that's all for this video. As you can see, my completion is 100. And that's all. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.